Right, welcome back. We've got an Apple event and it introduced the 15 inch MacBook Air with the M2 chip, Mac Studio with M2 Max and M2 Ultra and Mac Pro with M2 Ultra. There was also an announcement of the Vision Pro headset, which we will get to later on. But yeah, the MacBook Air 15 inch is apparently the thinnest MacBook Air. It's got the M2 chip, 18 hours of battery life. Not sure about the size. I mean, it's quite it's quite big. I do prefer the 13 inch size. I mean, that was that's the whole point of the MacBook Air, really. It's, it's 13 inches. It's quite it's quite compact, really. Yeah, and possibly thin. Uh, pricing, 13 inch one is uh, just over 1,100 pounds. New 15 inch model, 13.99. I mean, it is quite a lot. It is a lot. Is it worth upgrading? It's got the M2 chip, which is very good. I mean, 18 hours of battery life, you can't can't go wrong with that. But yeah, not sure what to say, really. I mean, if you've, if you've already got a MacBook Air M1 or an M2, do you really need a 15 inch one? I personally don't think you do. I mean, I'm so, I certainly haven't upgraded from my, from my M1, but yeah, to be honest, it's, it, it doesn't interest me as such tech specs. Uh, 13 inch obviously is over there. Let's click on 15. Yeah, I mean pretty much the M2 chip, nothing different there. It's just the fact it's 15 inches and it's it's that right size. But I mean, if you're gonna have that size, you would go for a MacBook Pro really. Um, it is it is quite baffling. I don't, I don't quite understand that. But yeah, on to the Mac Studio. I'm not really into uh, any of the Mac Studios. It's got a great chip in it. And obviously uh, design wise, it's not, I don't think it's inspiring as such. But yeah, it's just looking at the specs. I'm going to skip over this one, to be honest. Um, but it is it is just impressive. Uh, if you know exactly what you're doing, what software you're using, the uh, the Mac Studio is just it is, it's a powerhouse, as they say. Right, the Mac Pro just looks like a cheese grater. I'm sorry. And the holes on it, it just, they look a bit gross, to be honest. I don't know who's designing this, but I could never, never ever have one of these it literally i just feel like going up to it getting a potato or cheese or carrot and just grating it on it i mean look at that I mean, seven thousand pounds it is a lot i mean we've got a cost of living crisis going on and i suppose someone who's going to get this probably has some sort of um income or some sort of gig they're doing with it that they will earn money from but it is it is very expensive it is honestly i believe the last great thing for value from Apple was actually the MacBook Air M1, which was under a thousand pounds. But otherwise, for me, that was personally underwhelming in terms of hardware. I mean, this is the Vision Pro headset available early next year and it's three and a half thousand dollars. I'm sure it's very good in what it does, but again, that's just a lot of money. Um, it'll be interesting to see who exactly is the target market for this. I think big introductions are the new iPad OS and iOS uh, 17, of course, uh, the offline maths PDF, the autofill, the autocorrect as well, predicted text is supposed to be a lot better, redesigned lock screen, external camera and iPad. And yeah, it just seems a bit more refined, to be honest. Uh, AirDrop continues when out of range, which is quite nice, but I felt this was just a bit more positive. And going on to the iPhone one, iOS 17, You've got the name drop for iOS 17. Um, you can apparently just say Siri instead of Hey Siri. Uh, contact posters, which is quite good. The offline maps. Leaving a FaceTime message. This is certainly intriguing. Um, live stickers as well. Uh, improved autocorrect, as they mentioned before. I think there's slight improvements, but again, for me, the highlight was more the improvements to the OS uh, for iPad and uh, iPhone rather than the hardware. The hardware just didn't impress me at all be interesting what they come out with the i with the iPhone 15 because that's rumored to have a USB-C slot and a few other things but i think it's it's it'll be an interesting year for apple i mean the cost of living uh, here in the uk at least has affected <laughs> majority of people um, and these are expensive devices i can't certainly afford to change my ipad iphone and uh, macbook uh, as easily as i could have before maybe but let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, is this an underwhelming Apple event? Are you expecting more? Um, 
I suppose only time will tell, really. We'll see what else they come out with and what other news comes out in the next few days. And until next time.